Hey guys, Rex here. Who else out there is not like totally jumping onto this newest bandwagon? You know, they have the new bandwagon issues that come out when people get completely wrung out and exhausted on the last one. And in order to, you know, accomplish whatever the, the objective is, there's a new bandwagon. Who else is not on this one? This Ukraine war situation. How come the entire world all of a sudden is like, and when I say the entire world, I mean the entire Western complex of the same people that have just got done trying to subjugate you with the last deal, like trying to put you into handcuffs, tie your legs together, and then tie you to a pole in the basement. That's what they're trying to do for the last two years. Now they're on this new bandwagon, see? Because the last one, he kind of got the he got the ropes loose. You, you picked the cuffs and he got out of it. Maybe. We'll see. Right? Or maybe they got bored. So what's the new game, guys? Is anyone else, like, not on the bandwagon yet? Why? If the narrative is true. And God bless the entire generation. I mean, there's a generation out there of a lot of people who still truly, innocently, honest to God, believe that the television set is telling them what's happening. Well, I saw it on TV, you know, there's a post there. This guy, like, said this here. Tom Brokaw told me. Anderson Cooper had an interview. We have memory, we have memory spans like a goldfish. People don't remember very long ago, do they? So, like, the bandwagon is that, like, oh, we need to, like, be all, like, in support of this new war now. Like, I don't know why we're not going in there and showing them, you know, the Russians. Like, hold on. Hold on a minute here. The Russians? Hey, I watched Red Dawn, like, 175 times as a kid, and I ran around out in the bushes with the plastic uh, Uzi and the, you know, the 1903 Springfield like with Legos sticking on the bottom so you have an extra capacity magazine like when you're a kid, like, ah, oh, fighting Russians with my cousins. That sounds like a great idea, except for the part where reality happens. And you're like, hold on a minute, that's expensive. It's an expensive endeavor. You know how many people would be killed? Did you know about these things? Flying cylindrical containers that deliver wicked fire offerings ac across the face of the whole earth. Anyone ever hear about that? We're gonna go fight the Russians, okay. I'm not against fighting Russians if you need to, but like why, are, what's the point of this deal exactly? Well, they're invading people. Okay, fair enough. Um, why, why are they doing that? Was there a grievance? Was there an issue? Was there a problem? Are they invading the people of Ukraine? Are they invading, are they trying to get that regime out of there for some reason, why? I don't know why you're not emotional with us, Rex. You have to have a huge amount of emotion to get on our bandwagon. And when you're emotional, you don't think very straight, do you? You gotta get mad. Gotta get mad as hell. I'm not gonna take it anymore, people. Ah, like wave the colors, man. Like everyone at the State of the Union, like everyone's exactly on the same page. You know when Al Capone and all his like crazy buddies and all the crackheads and all the bad guys in the world like get together and wave the same flag and then try to convince me to sign a certain contract or to give them a permission slip to do a certain thing. I'm skeptical because of who they are and what they have done repeatedly. Track record, multiple data points, facts, not feelings, but facts. People's emotions are continuously used to get them roped into shit they shouldn't have been into. That's why Sometimes there's big crises and people just like, ah, help me, give up everything. Oh, please strip me naked before you put me on the airplane, mommy. Oh, please like make sure I, I need this like digital like pass to get anywhere in the world. What's this one about? What are we, where are we getting into now? Mm, Girl, you don't even understand. You don't stand with the people. You don't, you don't stand with the people of the Ukraine, Rex. Hold on a minute here. I actually do stand with the people of Ukraine. 
and I stand with the people of Russia, and I stand with the people of all the countries in Europe, and I stand for all the people of the United States of America. Well, then how come we don't want to blow everything up? <laughs> okay, Private Snuffy. All right, all right like, it's funny because like a hammer always wants to pound nails, always. And God bless him, but there's a lot of people with experience in that world of pounding stuff in, pounding in nails with hammers, like that's what they used to do one time. Okay, Private Snuffy, if that's still what you want to do and like you don't even want to consult with the, you just believe the general on this one, General Biden, you believe Biden and Harris and Pelosi and, you know, McConnell and Lindsey Graham. Well, I'm sure they're not, I'm sure they're on the up and up on this line. Like, oh, they got the moral, you know, the moral high ground. Well, then if that's what you really, really believe, a bunch of my friends just yesterday were getting messages inviting them to join the Ukrainian, uh, what do you call this thing? Foreign Legion, the, the, the Legion. Like, go support him then. No. Or if you want to play Red Dawn Actual, okay. Well, then go over there. Don't try to, like, convince other people's kids to have to go and do it because you want it, something entertaining to watch on television so you can feel tough. And for all the chicken hawks, which is even worse, guys that never even played that game, oh, yeah, they're going to act tough now and want to send everyone else's kids over there. How about you go dig a fighting position? If you really believe that that's a just cause and you need to go fight for it, right? So I got some questions, okay? That was a little bit of a rant. Here's my questions. How come their power is still on? How come their internet is still on? If Russia just wanted to destroy that country because, like, Putin lost his mind and just wants to destroy and rape and pillage the place. And, I mean, Russia... Do you think that Russia can't find where the power lines are or Russia can't find where like the big like switching stations or power plants are. You don't think they can find where the TV towers are, the communications grids. Well, they shot one of them, Rex. Who shot what? Did you see the Russian guy holding the thing that shot it? Come on. Like, I'm not saying they didn't. I'm just saying, are you sure about that? Are you, or was this Arma, the video game footage again? Or Ace Combat 6 or whatever. Was it, are you sure you didn't, weren't just watching Ace Combat 6 where they blew up a tower and they played the replay part and then they put that on the news? How come they're still uploading videos out of Ukraine if Putin wanted to just destroy them? If Putin wanted to be brutal, it would be way easier for him to win a war in Ukraine by just annihilating their stuff. If that's what, that objective is way easier than what he appears to be doing now. You know, when the United States does this deal, and I talked about this last time, we let them have it. By the way, memory of a goldfish, right? How? Who exactly is allowed to invade and destroy and bomb other countries with shock and awe tactics, taking out their power and their communications and their entire military and just wiping them out and then like carpet bombing with cluster bombs and thermal barrack weapons, entire square miles of retreating armies across open highways to where there's just skeletons of anyone who is on the highway just for miles, like the apocalypse. Who's allowed to do this? I'm not anti-America. I'm not. I talked a lot about this in the Patreon last night. I had a couple really long episodes on the Fabruski Hour on Patreon where we go into this a lot further about like, okay... The, the ghost of Kiev, right? Or like uh, the Cossack, uh, the Cossack of, of, of Ukraine or whatever, right? The Cossack of chaos. Why such a huge media push in one direction? You know, it's way easier, like I said before, for Putin just to win the war. But he's, he is like, it looks like they're going to try to and like, it looks like they're surrounding the cities to lay siege, I suppose. I mean, it would be, but why, why would you leave the power on? If you're going to have a old school uh, Attila the Hun style siege, like Putin, if he's Attila the Hun, would Attila the Hun leave the freaking power on? And it's wintertime, you know how effective that would be? 
take out the power, take out the plumbing, take out the communications, or you can leave it on to gather intelligence, right? You can, you can leave it on to gather intel and let them, you know, share it, spread the fear as the power went off. As long as they could, the batteries, you know, didn't run on the phones. That'd be a pretty easy to, that's what normally happens. Elk? You like elk? You want to go see the elk? Okay. There's a critter back here. You want to see the elk? Oh, no, 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 no. So my question is, why is the power still on? If he's, if that's his objective. Or, is it possible? Is it even slightly possible? That there's something else going on? Is it Putin versus the people of Ukraine? Or is it Putin versus the government of Ukraine? If it's the latter, if it's the government of Ukraine Putin's trying to get, well, why would that be? How come Nancy Pelosi, Joe Biden, and uh, what's her face? Kamala, Kamala Horus, and um, you know, all these, all these crazy critters like, how come they're all exactly on the same page? on that. Isn't that like not an indicator to you? What's what's up with that? What if What if he just has a big grievance with NATO trying to and and uh, the current regime in Ukraine because this regime, just like the Putin regime, just like the American regime, it's like the UK one, right? What if he's trying to um, make sure NATO doesn't come up right in, you know, look at a map. Like, what if that's part of the deal? What if he doesn't like, uh, we didn't like the Cubans having missiles in, uh, you know, in Cuba. We didn't like the Russians putting their stuff there, did we? Not, not a lot. So why would all of a sudden Russia be okay with us putting stuff in Ukraine? That didn't happen yet, but it was about to, right? That's what Putin was saying. Who put uh, this Who put this government in control in Ukraine, by the way? Was there any outside influences there? Anyone, anyone have a memory more than five minutes? During the Obama years, you know, 2014-ish? What happened there? I'm just asking questions. And I'm not against Ukraine, but I'm against mobsters. I'm not against Russia, I'm not against the United States. I want everyone to have as free of an existence as possible and a peaceful place for them to raise their families. How about this one? How come How come they're handing out and I like I'm a second amendment guy. So this is coming from me. They're handing out AKs, crates of AKs to grandma and teenage girls. Where's the Ukrainian army? Did they all get destroyed already? If so, then that goes against the narrative they've been pushing. See, why are they passing out AKs and then they follow them around with the news? Like, okay, here's an AK, grandma. Now go, the Russians are over there. We'll follow you with the camera. When you get smoked, it'll be a really good photo op so that we can really have a, a good news episode tonight so that then everyone will really be on our page. Are they trying to create photo ops? Now, I think every country should pass AKs to the people with the training class. Like Switzerland does. Like, okay, your training class is you have to be conscripted for a while. You have to be in the army for a while so that you're useful with your stuff. Right? The hell? watching some of the commentators and the, the narrative from the people, the normies that believe the news makes me shake my head and there's not enough whiskey for me to cure that one. And I wonder to myself some days, are we the dumbest generation that ever existed on the face of the planet to continue to jump into these bandwagons that are headed straight off a cliff into a cactus pile on the bottom? Just a question. For much more of these rants, I'm kind of editing myself a bit here. That's why the pace is a little slower, like, nah, man. Uh, 
I don't know how much of this, because I'm self-editing. I could put it on YouTube, but I don't know if it's appropriate from my standards <laughs> for a general audience. I think it's most appropriate for a um, an audience that has better context than what we're about here, okay? Because there's a lot of people tuning in might not know exactly what we're, where we're coming from. Rex, totally pro-America, totally pro-Second Amendment, totally pro-Ukraine, totally pro all of the European countries, pro-Russia, pro-everybody. Like, I'm not lying. Like, I, I, people are people, man. If, if you haven't traveled around enough, if you just think that, like, over the hill is, like, Mordor, and they're just goblins, like, over the hill, they're just probably goblins. Then you need to travel a little more and actually meet people in other places. There are some countries that are closer to that. I could name them. I'll name them on Patreon. But go check it out. We got a good discussion over there. I had a great one last night uh, talking about some of the details of what would happen if people just keep prancing towards nuclear war. Oh, yeah, we should go fight them. Private, Private Snuffy is going to like get us into the, the nuclear war. Like, oh yeah, I just got like, we should just go in there and start shooting them. Okay. Well, let me know ahead of time because then I can fill my windows in my basement with dirt and uh, fill up all the remaining cans with water so that, you know, I can have some uncontaminated water before before the half-life hits or whatever. Like, kind of, a, kind of an interesting situation. What do you guys think? That's mostly what I'm here for. I'm curious to see what you guys think what's going on here. For more information, go to uh, subscribe on Patreon. We got the yearly annual subscription now, which I finally found the button. Someone kept telling me, why don't you do this? We save money. I can save 60 or 16% or whatever, and they don't have to pay the fees every time. So yeah, check it out. I'll leave a link below. And uh, God bless America. May we do the right thing once in a while. I support the troops. And God bless you guys. I appreciate you. All right. I'm going to take care of this little critter. Adios.